Ladies and gentlemen, you are blessed and highly favored. My name is Queen Lit. The agenda is the same anytime you see me here. We are saving thousands of people, millions of people out of abusive marriages. So please share this video to the whole world and let somebody be blessed today. Your own life will never be the same. Thank you so much and God bless you. In my previous video, I spoke about keys for you to know that this can be my wife, this can be my husband. And today I am saying, show me my sugar cane. If you've not watched the previous video, go and watch it because the feedback, oh my God, is so massive. People's lives are being blessed and I want you to be blessed. So please watch that video. Thank you so much. Show me my sugar cane. Somebody will ask, Quinlet. What is the meaning of show me my sugar cane? Yes, my sugar cane is my husband. My sugar cane is my wife. Show me my sugar cane. Now, after you found that wife and that husband, the manifestations of the wife and the husband, the things that you see with your eyes, with your feelings, and know that this is really the person that I chose. Ah, we are coming to talk about it. Do you know sugar cane? Sugar cane, it comes from Guinea. Okay, and through migration, it went to India, it went to Asia, and today we are all enjoying sugar cane. So it doesn't matter where your, your partner is coming from. Your partner can come from a very far place. But I say, show me my sugar cane. Sugar cane has a lot of health benefits. Okay, it energizes your body, it prevents dehydration, boosts liver function, it helps in maintaining kidney health, it contains zero fat and cholesterol and then it fights against skin diseases i hope you don't know about it but it does it is loaded with a lot of minerals and calcium okay so sugar cane has a lot of benefits and so is your wife or your husband to be is he or she is also having so many benefits but how is it going to be? How are you going to see the manifestation, the true color of the person? Now, anybody you find as a wife and a husband must be firm in character. Firm in character. Let me give you an example. So, we are married together and my interest is to have children, okay, as a husband. And my wife is not able to bear children. What is going to be my reaction? Now listen, sometimes the man will react or the woman will react because both men and women can be infertile. It doesn't stand on a woman or a man. Okay, so one of them, the one who is having this interest may fight in the marriage. The person will get angry as time goes on. One year, two years, three years, what is happening? My, my, my mates are having children and I am not having. So there will be this kind of misunderstanding in the marriage. Okay? It isn't that the person has got a bad character, but the person is fighting because of his or her interests. Some people are very good, but when it comes to their interests, they will not compromise. And this is what I'm talking about, the manifestation of the character. Yes, he or she is fighting because he needs children in the family. She wants children in the family. So, you see, no matter how good he or she is, there will be this kind of misunderstanding, quarrel, fighting because of their interest. But the one who is able to stand firm and say, hey, this is my interest, but I am trusting and believing in the Lord that God will do it. Even if it takes 30 years, I'll stand. I'll stand. With my wife i'll stand with my husband these are the people you have to look for and this is the sugar cane the sweeter part of it so you know that sugar cane is sweet but it is not even every part of sugar cane that is sweet there are certain parts it's not sweet like other parts okay and that is how it is in every marriage the sour area is there and the sweet part is there but i am saying that if you have chosen that wife that husband Okay, basing on the keys that I gave you the other day, the manifestations for you to know and, and believe that this is the person, is what I'm talking about you. Firmness in spirits. Somebody will say, oh, I married my wife because of her breasts. Yes, some people marry because of breasts. Please, 
don't get me wrong it is true some people marry because the the the, the, the woman's breast is so heavy and it is beautiful you know yes they can testify the men some people they do it so along the line god forbid but just as an example the woman gets cancer and the breast is no more there it is cut off so that beauty what are you going to do from that time what are you going to do are you going to say i married her because of the breast so she must go because there are a lot of women with the same breast i'm not coming to sit by a woman with one breast firmness in character firmness in character somebody who will stand and say no this is a wife this is a man that i got married to okay he used to have hair but now he's he's having a bad hair the man is not having hair anymore if I watch his hair, I can even watch my face. The way his hair is shiny, if he's sweating, the hair will be shiny, and I can watch my face like a mirror. Oh God, what is all this? Because this man used to have hair, and he will put this kind of, you know, this kind of haircut, and it was so beautiful, but now his hair is no more. Are you going to run away because your husband is not having, he's, 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 he's bad? He's, he's got a bad hair? Are you going to go? These are the things that I'm talking about. People who can say and stand and say, no, this is part of the marriage. Yes, it is part of the marriage. This is what I chose. And it is not that somebody will say, Queen Lit, you are just saying you will not be able to stand the test of time. I am telling you, if you believe in God and you know what the Lord can do, you know that God is able to do everything. You will not give up on these things. You know the things that God, don't, don't, don't make God small. He's not a small boy. You know the things that God is able to do? That is why I am building up your faith. I'm speaking certain things into your spirits. For you to know that you don't just run away. Some time ago, you were a baby. You were drinking porridge. You were not having teeth. So you misbehaved. But even as you are hearing, listening to what Queen Lit is saying right now, let it speak to your heart. And say, oh, I made the, this decision. Because that is where the blessing is going to come. Don't run away. Out of any marriage. Because the marriage is there. That thing you are looking for is not what makes the marriage. That is why I said from the beginning. That the guy is good. The man is good. The woman is good. But because of her interest. Oh, she's fighting. He's fighting. Don't forget. That the children will grow and they will go and the marriage will still be there. Some people get married and they have children. They become so happy. So their attention and everything shift to their children. So if you come to the marriage, even as you are listening to the, the bad side and the good side, compliment all and work on it. Don't come and make the children the center of attraction in that marriage. So that you forget about your marriage responsibilities and then you, you always be there with the children, having all the time with the children. Because when the children were not there, you were able to, excuse me to say, uh, uh, sleep with your spouse everywhere, on the table, in the kitchen, uh, in the living room, because there was no child around. But when the children come, they will start to interrupt. You'll be, you, you'll be in the middle of conversation and they will appear. They will appear and disappear. Okay, they, they want the attention. Whilst you are speaking with your wife, your, your husband, they also be speaking alongside because they want your attention. So there will, be, there will be that conflict. And if you don't take care, it will break your marriage. And this is where too mature people, sensible people who have the spirit of God in them and they fear God will stand and say, no, this is the marriage. And children cannot destroy the marriage because marriage is ordained by God and God loves marriage. Okay, so these are some of the things. People who will be fighting against the children, the, the, the woman because of infertility, because their breast is no more there, because the, the, the woman, because of bed, she's having all kinds of stretch marks all over, because of certain things, the man is not having hair again. All those characters, you need to check it. These are things that people will be running away from. This thing doesn't make the marriage. The marriage itself is the union that the Lord has blessed. And if you are able to be firm, strong in character, okay, respectful to your spouse, if you are able to have this sympathy, empathy, you will be able to live together for decades until, until death do you part. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. Think about this thing. This is a broad topic and we will talk about it. God bless you. My name is Queen Litz. 
and don't forget to share this video like the video our page Quinlet music youtube tiktok facebook instagram god bless you so much for watching me thank you Oh Lord, we are ready for the moon Holy Ghost, manifest yourself in here Manifest yourself on the spirit Oh Move in your power The fire, I am the sacrifice, Shania.